Hello everybody, I'm Vengman427 and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. Now, as you can see, there are no saved games, so we're going to have to start a new world. And we're going to have the intro sequence turned off. And now... We're going to try to... Try to not die. So... Don't know what aggressive NPCs is, because clearly it means not the uh, not the SCPs, but it, it what would be aggressive? Oh, the guards maybe, because there's some guards that might think you're an SCP or something. I don't know. I, I've I've seen that. Okay, because l l let's read this to so save. The game can be saved at any time. However, as it is in the case of the SCP objects, a safe classification does not mean that the handling of it does not pose a threat. Okay. Euclid. So that's what this guy at the beginning is. Euclid class objects are insufficiently understood and inherently unpredictable, such as their re uh, reliable containment is not always possible. In Euclid, difficulty saving only a lot saving is only allowed at specific locations marked by the lit up computer screens and this is probably like extremely hard so we're gonna go with custom again which is the you know, save anywhere aggressive NPCs and easy because then it's normal hard so it's like we're gonna go with easy and we're just gonna start this off again Oh, I've gone through this, 970. So just so you know, my heart is always racing during this game. Like, this game just scares the ever-living... I don't know if that's telling me to run, or... Well, I died. Okay, at least I know where it's going. <sighs> okay, so I know where the SCP is going. And now, hmm. Huh, I can see the problem is... Is because there's obviously places that are safer for me to go that I could be safe from this SCP, but the problem is, is it locks the door and basically only funnels you into like one of two places. And the problem is, is one of the two places is the room that the SCP was originally contained in, and then it's the one where it goes. So the thing I'm always confused about is. Does does SCP-173 pretty much have basically during like I guess you could say the intro sequence part have a point where it's like it goes a certain distance away from you or something? Then uh, it there's kind of like it gets a certain distance away from you and it's basically stay in the you know hallway area away from that door kind of thing for a certain amount of time, 
then you can go and continue and go through the things so you're not bumping into it at a certain point or is it literally just like a have fun so yeah you know what hold on i'm gonna search something up real quick okay i'm back after a little while of watching a video so i had watched a guy uh play through it a little bit just kind of past the sequence and there's a part where uh what ends up happening is when scp-173 guy down here uh ends up there's like you know the sequence with the he's you know kind of downstairs on that you know level where it's the there's almost like a bridge that goes over before you enter his containment room uh and then you know you, you look down and there's him and he's standing you know there and then there's a scientist backing him you're like just you no know, just don't you know look away and then then the end ends up keep you know lights keep turning off and ends up getting closer what ends up happening is after a, you wait a few seconds after that and eventually scp-173 uh leaves and what you can end up doing is i think there's a way you can kind of slow him down or i think it's S slow him down probably more than stop him uh or uh, i shouldn't say him i should say it because again i don't know its gender i'm sorry i was being very rude there but basically what you can do is the door that is on the opposite side of where the s uh, of where 173 is when it first starts you know that little sequence of the the two scientists thing so basically the door that's moving closer to you can go through that and then there's a elevator door that's open and then you want to make a left and then i think if you go to the first door that's ahead of you there will be a, like a, an, another sequence of doors or something where basically scp-173 will be there and again it's heading you know somewhere else and then what you can do is you can basically draw it out into the open quickly run around it and then there's like a special kind of basically like scp lock to you know stop it from going through and you basically close all the doors behind you and then you can disable the doors from being opened and i think i didn't want to really watch much past that part but we're gonna try that so i've been talking for a lot longer than i need to and i keep forgetting that every time you save it does that so i think this was this one yeah Oh, yeah. This guy's creepy. That's where all the black goo is. Or I, th I think if you step on the black goo too much, then that guy ends up, like, chasing after you, and he's just, like... Ugh. He's creepy. <laughs> Honestly, the, the, the worst SCP for me is SCP-173. Okay, so this sequence. See what I'm talking about here? So it does that, and then SCP-173 is over there. Don't think you can pick that up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is... Open that door. Okay. Now, hold on. I know each seed is different because, again, it's... And I, I, I didn't see the same seed that he did, uh, but I think okay, I might be safe here. Okay. 
Oh, how did... I died. Uh, okay, let's load the game again. And same sequence. Yep, keep your eyes on it. Then I think it goes up like a vent or something. Um, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad! Attention. I turned too much. Okay. Ugh. The scare isn't as bad. As it's it's the anticipation, not the jump scare, that gets you. Okay. Then it leaves. Dang it! I got scared. Okay. At least I'm kind of developing a plan. Now, okay, hold on. I'm gonna check one thing one last time. Just because I want to see. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. Okay, but either way, uh, no, my thing, n n nothing was solved. My answer was not asked. So apparently I, so I should wait. Go down here. I'm not going to run though. The door appears to be locked. Okay, let's pause here for a second. So, I tried looking up some stuff. I tried to see if SCP-173 could be killed by, like, the Tesla gate. So what I was thinking is, you know, oh, I'll lure him close to the Tesla gate, and then just at, like, the right second, run back or, like, blink, and then right as the Tesla gate's about to go off, you know, I, I, I make sure that, you know, SCP-173 runs through it, and then boom, you know, maybe he's gone or something like that. No, so we're definitely going to have to go with the scarier route lack of better way of saying it. Oh, 
Come on! Okay. We know... Okay. I'm going to go through the Tesla gate, and I'm just gonna freaking bolt. Obviously, again, but I'm not gonna, like, bolt, bolt kind of thing. You know what I mean. Gonna... Okay, we're gonna let this thing happen. The one thing I want to know is... One thing that'd be cool to know, and I'm just going to pause here, is why, if, if they clearly knew that there are going to be problems with this SCP in particular, why did they, A, not make a second door there? And I know it's the whole day they've got different doors and things like that. They've, they've got doors in front of there, but why didn't they, A, just close all of them, B, not give them buttons so it's like, hey, look, some of them may have buttons that, you know, you can just press and boom, they open kind of thing. But it's like, uh, why didn't they have two really big thick doors and have one be like a manual lock that like has like, again, it's basically like the idea of like the perfect safe vault kind of door that's got like, it's, it's uber, like that. that's like uber, I guess, you know, built, I guess you could say, u uber, like, like unconsiderably, un like you'd think it'd be unnecessarily strong but it wouldn't kind of thing and then it'd basically be they want to do testing on this thing on these things it's like no no i get it you want to do tests but just lock the thing away and don't forget about it clearly have ways of monitoring it and things like that but it's just like just if you are going to test it or something again it's like here have a nice big well-lit room or something that if in the case of it going to move it's like oh here's a bunch of space or something i don't know or like why don't you just literally put it in like a tiny little room or something now because then it'd be again people would have to get close to it so it makes sense i don't know okay first thing is go 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 I am never going to get past that. Wait a little bit longer. Gonna blink one last time. Okay, so the door appears to be locked. So. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try one last thing. Okay, this is the last attempt. Uh, before I... It. Last attempt before I... That's real. Yeah, real. Come on, there we go. So last attempt before I end the video. And I'm gonna see if I can actually get as far as so basically the video I was watching, which was kind of like a again, it's it's, it's like a tutorial almost about how to complete the game. I'm not gonna actually watch through all of this just to complete the game. I just really 
want to freaking get past this kind of first little intro part we've got. So this is the seed that the guy used, and I've only watched so far as to, I think it's a way to stop this guy or again contain him, something I don't know. So I'm gonna try this, and every so often I might pause and go watch the video. I'll edit it out for you guys, but we're gonna see if I can at least, again, get past this difficult part. Okay. So I'm gonna see, so I don't know if it'll... I am dead. Nope. I am... <laughs> I am not getting out of that alive. Okay. We're gonna restart. Alright, you know what? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna turn my volume down a little bit. Ah, hi! 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 Okay, yeah, I kind of boned myself there. So we're gonna... We're just gonna quit. New game. Actually, no, hold on. Load map. What's example? Larry's Revenge. Hold on. Load map. What does that mean? Example or Larry's Revenge? Okay, let's try example. At a random thing. I guess this is gonna be, uh, I'm expecting like a jump scare or something. Uh. Okay. Sorry, my mom just entered the room. Okay. I regret this decision. Oh yeah. Who? Who? We're just gonna quit. We're gonna. You know what? We're gonna load a map. We're gonna try new game. Deselect. Load map. We're gonna try Larry's Revenge. I don't know what that is. We're gonna try it. The Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Okay, then. No other copies of this book with that title are found. No record of the publisher exists. Some of the diseases that they read about. Okay, so this is Larry's Revenge.
All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, uh, a few things I've come to the conclusion on with this game. First thing is, scary as all heck. Personally, that's just me just because I'm very wimpy. I would totally admit that I am not good with horror. Second thing is, uh, I need to, I should, actually waiting seems like a good idea because what seems to happen is SCP-173 seems to pretty much basically it, it goes through like again the thing and yes there are little I guess you could say predetermined cutscenes that aren't really cutscenes you can still interact I guess you could say but you know what I mean like again a thing with the, the scientists backing away and things like that so I've come to the conclusion that waiting is a good idea so going down the stairs instead of, so instead of running just walking down the stairs basically giving the SCP time to for lack of a better way of saying it explore and go further away from its place of where it was kept kind of thing because like you could see that it was in the elevator for a while but then once I opened the door it stopped and then it's like well okay I opened the door and it knows that I'm here kind of thing I'm boned I can't do anything else so it's pretty much give it time and like kind of wait for I don't know like auditorial cues things like that and yeah literally just give the SCP time to leave my area heck even if it is just a simple to a point where I can't find it or see it kind of thing like if, if it's something like that again when you know if it goes in this case it went down the elevator because the seeds are kind of randomly generated which sucks but something like that and then you can kind of go from there because the first time we played through this i got pretty far just because it was pure dumb luck and against the whole beginner's luck and it seems to pretty much be randomized it will go after like npcs and things like that but it's only pretty much once it sees you, it's like that is its target until you can, that you, you are its target until it loses you. And then it will go after the next thing. But yeah. So either way, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like button A. If you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below as it is appreciated. Either way, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.